You should see all this duct tape we got together just like trying to hold this camera in place. This is crazy. Oh my God. Like seriously. All right, man. Today we're gonna unbox some Rosecraft blades. Before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed, what the hell is the matter with you, man? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. All right, check us out. Oh yeah, leave a comment, man. All that stuff helps the channel. All right, so, Blade Show, Lanner. Picked up a few Rosecraft blades. We're gonna unbox those knives today. We're not gonna get into all the like crazy details and stuff. These are like those coins. We'll give those away on the channel. Probably like, the next live or something we do. I don't know. Um, it's a koozie we found on the floor. <laughs> Swags didn't give me one. She just, anyway. <laughs> didn't offer me one. Didn't care. All right, the first one we got is the Barra and Black. Okay, yes, I remember this knife. I wanted this knife for the truck. Why? Because it's got a pry tool on it. it the pry tool is removable. You can take two sixes. Get that, uh, oh, the dog's going to act up. Here, I'll let him out. Okay. The, the pry tool is removable. You can remove it just by, you know, unscrewing those screws and taking it out. It doesn't need to be there, but it's there. I want the pry tool there. I want to try to abuse that pry tool. I want to see if I can destroy it just to see, you know. I love the handles, man. I don't know if they're G10 or if they're other, some other type of material, but they feel like G10. The blade material is, who knows? <laughs> this is a Swags design. And Liner she, lock. she did it as a bartender knife. She sure did. It's a bartender knife. That's right. And uh, she was like, I think she was a bartender. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm way off. Uh, so, like, she's got all these bartender tools and stuff on here. And, but but I think it would be, like, a great throw-it-in-your-truck knife because of the pry tool. You know, well, I, I you know, I drive a, I drive a Ford. <laughs> so sometimes I need to get tires off of rims on the side of the inter interstate, stuff like that. Pocket clip is, is nice and smooth. It's almost deep carry if you don't have the pry tool sticking out. It does have two recessed screws. It's a flow through design, has standoff, so you take this off, you'll still have that standoff back there supporting the knife. It's very smooth, very, very smooth. Black coated a of, blade. A lot of cutting edge there too. Yeah, you got a lot of cutting edge. Shall we measure it? All right, if we count, let's lay it like this. So if we count the pry tool, so the pry tool is in there. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a half inches. Take the pry tool out. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be about eight inches, maybe a little, little, little less than eight inches. Probably seven point seven eight inches. I was going to leave you be on that. I was just going to let you move you it all shush. around that board until you figured out you could just subtract how much that was there. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the white collar pivot, like, or the white pivot collar rather. It's like it's kind of interesting. You usually like you see a lot of colors on knives. You usually don't see white, and there's there may be a reason for that, but I do like it. On the thumb studs are. White too. Yeah, a whitish, like whitish, a silver, yeah. like a very light, bright silver or something. Mm -hmm. Have you handled the knife? Would you like to? Uh, handle very it? little. Uh oh. <laughs> oh you okay. have to muscle that open. Yeah, I, I just, I just slow roll that. You slow roll that. How's the lockup? Lockup is a hundred percent. A hundred. It's in all the way. It's just completely behind the blade, ain't it? Yeah. Well. Let's see. You be the call. <laughs> I mean, you be the judge. You call it. At least, at least 80? What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. I think it's 80? 100? Okay. <laughs> Swags. We need a little bit of information in the box. Yeah, you know, we want to know. Uh, this is just... Uh, Constructive criticism. We want to know what kind of steel it is, and and uh, we need to know like um, 
what the handle material is and stuff like that without having, having to go Google look it up. It. You know, we don't mind. We'll do that for you. We like you. You're cool. But, you know, like it'd be cool if that information was somewhere on the box. We would appreciate it. That's just constructive criticism. It's probably, it's probably Hawkins' fault. It's probably, I, I mean, oh. I'm just saying. My, my stuff is man's fault. Usually it's the man's fault. The Ajuda Brown. This is the first one I, I picked up that I, I wanted. Okay. Good. Good. You do got snacks in this one. There are snacks in that one. There are snacks in that one too? Oh. Yeah, can't get them out. I have to open up from the other side to get those snacks out. Okay, the Jeta Brown. I believe this is my card. That's I don't, what I was thinking. I don't know anymore. Right. You know, like, but. After the, the shed knife. That's right. Out, that's really G10. This one is, uh, is a, it's got thumb studs and a flipper. And both of them work just fine. It is a frame lock. For those of you like me, that's kind of old school and you like that. Got the orange pivot collar on both sides. Flow through design. Some people don't like the flow through design anymore. I, I, I still like it. You know, it's easier to clean. I know it's also easier for things so to, to touch your there. blade. You know, like if you got keys in your pocket. Like you know, skin or depending on the profile. I'm going to scoot over. They can, keys can get down in there. <clears throat> I just hit my ankle, y'all, with the chair. Man, these things are tough. Oh, I bet you I'm putting. Yeah, I bet. The the mo mohawk just seemed a lot smoother to open. <laughs> Same designer. I know, but yeah, I can't. can't, can't I can't thumb it. it. You barely flip it. I know it. So you want to try something? You want to try to put your your fingers on like the like your pinky and, and this on the thumb stud itself. I on mean the, on the, the pocket clip. Yep. That way you know like if, if if you need all three of your fingers down there, that's fine. But put all three of your fingers on the pocket clip. Okay. That way you know it's off of the you're not putting any tension on the lock bar. All right. So they're all down there. All right. Wow. Yep. What a weakling. I do. I have weak hands, man. There we go. That's why you like those Todd bags. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just got to umph it. You got to umph it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know I like why the we feel put them back in the handle. box. We'll leave them out. Oh, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I, I do like the feel of the handle, though. Like the feel of the handle? Mm hmm. Yeah, the handle does feel good. They I'm don't sure have that's a stainless steel. Anywhere. That is a Hawkins design. Oh, that is stupid little sticker. Stupid made in China sticker. Yeah, quit putting that on the blade, please. <laughs> <laughs> they can't help that. But talk to that's your partners. The, that's the OEM. <laughs> so we'll leave these out. Sorry about that. Uh, well, this one's this one's going to be hard to keep focused. Yeah. But that's okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll flip them over. And we'll flip them back over later. There we go. All right, a couple boxes out of the way. Got one more. The OG. And all three of ours, all, all three of them that we picked up, we got different collar colors. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like this box. It's like a mm -hmm. step above, or a st like a step, step up. Step up from the from usual. The, yeah, from the folding box. I think the Mohawk was the same way as that one. Couldn't tell you. I've taken it out right, right. enough times, but... Yeah, it is. It's a push through like that. Okay. Now I don't. I don't know who designed this one, but it, you know, like it's. If you see the, if you see the designer, it just says S back there, but but I don't think that's that's you know like Swags is like, she's got her signature on hers, and uh, Hawkins has got this H J H J R. Yeah. And Andy Anderson has got like this like skull and crossbones type thing uh, with, that make an A or, you know, I don't know. But man, this knife feels so smooth. Like, this is an incredible knife. Like, 
I don't, I don't know like how it performs yet, but like I, the, 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 the handle material feels just like the handle bara, material. Bara. And, uh, so it's, it's got this like, you ever played with a petrified fish in G10? The G10, like the texture of it is like it's grippy, but it's also smooth at the same time. That's what's going on it's here. Kind of powdery type feel. Yeah, and there is like there's there's all this blue like, liners. Yeah, blue liners. They they kind of pop, man. Yeah, you know, we got the lanyard hole back here, and it kind of keeps shape with the knife, so there's no extra right. stuff going on, and that's a backspacer. So like that's kind of cool in my opinion you know like it's just uh it's, i'm not saying it's the first time it's been done but it's uh it's definitely not done as often as other lanyard holes right and i like the blade shape kind of like barberish yeah to me kind of kind of like a kind of like a razor you know like it's also kind of like a Sheep footed. Well, yeah, I mean, in a way, it is kind of sheep footish, but it's got a curve, and I don't know, man. Uh, like, it's it's definitely not worn cliff, right? But we, we can do a video of me, me trying to shave this beard off. With you got it. a beard? You do. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You see if I cut you or not. I shaved with that little <laughs> knife that Nick sent us the other day. Did you? Yes, I did. Like, uh... I was able to take take off uh, quite a bit of hair off my face with some shaving <laughs> cream with that, that knife that, that Nick sent us. Uh, so the, it's got the blue thumb studs. Again, we don't know what kind of steel type it is and stuff like that. We won't beat a dead horse, but uh, that, w that would be really cool. But anyway. Um, I think this one I could I could easily. I would hope so. Late. This thing is. Yeah. Can you make it come out any faster than that? There we go. <laughs> like, can you get in zone? You know, the fuck, you're like, can, can you wait until the camera's off before you start? You know, just like, you do, like before you go to sleep. You know, like, can you wait until the video's over with before you go to sleep. Yeah, this one's a lot smoother. This one's more like the mohawk to me in, in the action. Absolutely. And we might as well get a, a length on these. Well, this one was eight and a half. Yep, so this one's going to be. Eight. Yep, that'll be eight. Sam saving a little bit of time, y'all. Yep, yep. <laughs> and this one will be about eighteen. About eight as well. Yep. Is that right? Can that be right? Can right here. Look, it's one right here. There we go. You me measure this one. Make sure that's right. No, it's no, like seven, seven and, and a half. half. Okay. All right. So measure this one. So this one's seven and a half. This one is eight and a half. Or no way. Right at it. Yeah. With the thing on it. Okay. So this is like seven and a half, seven and three quarter. Yep. Yeah. Just a little over seven and three quarter for that one. Yeah. We're good. Think about the, uh, that's, that's right around the size of the 940, like the Benchmade 940. All right, man. Um, any afterthoughts? Any? Oh, let's let's check out one of these coins. Are we giving away these coins at Blade? I'll save the day here too. There you go. Look at you, <laughs> shithead. <laughs> okay, on this side, it says Rosecraft Blades on top. Got the R, C, B, or just yep. Rosecraft R C. Got the R C in the middle, and it says. Friends of the of the craft. Okay, on this side, there's your designers. Yeah, so that's the three. Did they say their names? Maybe around the edges. Ah. Ah. We make knives for people who love knives. Okay. Rosecraftblades.com. That's okay. I'll figure out who you are, buddy. <laughs> Where? Oh, that's Andy Anderson's design. Yep. Swags. Hawkins, Hawkins design, Swags design, and we will figure out who that is. I'm going to guess it's Sam's. Sam's? What's the definite Not just one Sam, but many Sam's? Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> Sam's design. <laughs> Said that right, teacher, lady. Anyway. 
that's uh that's that in a nutshell we will have individual videos of these this is just a, a general unboxing and uh by far my favorite as far as action and looks and all that stuff is the og uh, i do feel like the one i had on the table for this one was smoother and maybe it's because it's been, been getting picked up and flipped yeah. open a lot. So I have hopes that this one will smooth out. It'll do something. But it, it's definitely kind of stiff right now. We can play with the pivot if we need to. We can always adjust the lock bar. That's what I like about a frame lock. You know, like we can all, you know, like there's, 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 you know, not a lot we can't take control of here. You know, we just have to play with it to get it, you know, how you like it. But yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. Like, I can't reverse flick that one, which is totally okay. But, like, the flipper's not giving me any issues. Just a second. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm not I'm not able to reverse flick it. It is it is pretty pretty tough with the thumb studs, but either way it goes. Regardless, when it comes out, it comes out with authority. Like, you know, notice how, like, this one comes out smoother, but... <laughs> yeah, you can... Yeah, you can, to get it to walk back. Uh, this one, place. this one probably use a little bit of tension, uh, like adding a little yeah. bit of tension. But uh, we got it. I think uh, we'll, we'll I think go that over was the price most points. One we got. I'm not sure. I have no idea because she like pretty much gave them all to us. She was like, "Y'all are definitely my favorite knife reviewers, <laughs> and I just want y'all to have these." And uh, you don't have to pay for them. Just don't tell Hawkins because he'll take them out of, out of the check. And I hope y'all figured out by now. He is definitely, completely, definitely utterly full of completely, shit. Completely, uh, yeah, completely full of shit. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's my favorite in design. And um, uh, it's it's kind of like, what is the word I'm looking for? It's kind of elegant, like a gentleman's yeah. carry, uh, but it's it's got this like it's it's not it's it's not loud, right? You know, it's it's got this I, like I flash do like to the it. color pop. I do throughout too. it. I like the color pop, you know, throughout it too. It's like this one's like this outdoorsy, like yeah, um, got the orange, so you can find it when you drive it. That's right <laughs> in the woods, and and this one's I just think this one's gonna be a useful tool, man. You know, like uh. Uh, I can't remember the last thing. Last thing I, I used a pry bar. I for. guess if you needed a really big flathead too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you drive a Ford, or you're married to a Ford, you're constantly working on things. So, anyway, until next time, we will catch you on the on, flip side. There you go.